Ecclesiastes chapter 5 verses 46 says, When you make a vow to God, do not delay to fulfill it. He has no pleasure in fools. Fulfill your vow. It is better not to make a vow than to make one and not fulfill it. Do not let your mouth lead you to sin. Therefore, choosing to live a celibate life until marriage is not a trend, but a vow to honor God with this temple that is our body. The vow of celibacy till marriage is more so giving away this one thing, source and cause of many pains, sinful passions, corruption, destruction, addiction, enmity, jealousy, rivalries, idolatry, and even death. The focus on things of the spirit that have an eternal guarantee. Did Elohim create us with this flesh and desires? Most certainly but they were intended to be enjoyed in the appropriate covenant and context that is marriage with our spouses. Just like fire, in the right setting, it is a great source of warmth and lighting. It can protect and keep you safe at night from predators, create tools, help you cook, but out of its appropriate setting, fire will consume everything and anything on its way and destroy all to the point of being unrecognizable. Flesh and desires were not created so that they would occupy all of our meager time down here on earth and distract us from our purpose as believers in Christ, that is, to serve and live out what we believe about Christ. Matthew chapter 5 verse 13 says, You are the salt of the earth. But if the salt has lost its taste, how shall his saltiness be restored? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled under people's feet. So, gladly and willingly enter the narrow gate. Because though it is a difficult way, you have assurance of where it leads. Life. Trends will pass away but being different through obedience, perseverance, integrity, and faith in the Lord is an investment in eternal life by our Creator's side. Remember always, you are unique, special, and truly invaluable. And with that being said, let us all also remember to cultivate love, humility, peace, and wisdom around us. Stay humble, strong, blessed, and in confidence, my friends.